what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and on today's episode we are gonna finally install the electronic brake controller for our 2004 Chevy Avalanche this is to control our 2021 trailer and uh, don't ask me what type of trailer it is I forgot I have the information inside somewhere but um this can basically be used for any trailer with electronic brakes so today we are going to be installing the Takancha Voyager electronic brake control controller and uh, with that we need this plug-and-play thing but unfortunately the plug-and-play uh, adapter piece doesn't actually fit onto this end of our controller so what I'm going to do is actually cut this solder it together heat shrink it and that should be a permanent connection and the other end does plug and play into the vehicle I will show you where that goes and after that everything should work fine and we'll install it right then and there now there is instructions on how to do some of these stuff so let's just get started right into this video alrighty guys so the first thing that we're gonna look at on this um, instruction pamphlet it does tell you what uh, wires hook up where so when you open this adapter you will notice that a red wire is not in the connection plug so when you look at the instructions it actually tells you where this goes so um it says here depending on the year of your vehicle the red wire will have to be inserted in one of two places in the connector if your vehicle was made in 1999 to 2002 model the red wire will need to go into slot a if your model year was 2003 to 07 which is the classic body style which that's what this is the red wire will need to go into slot d now on this connector there it is uh it is labeled a b and c and then d e and f so it told me to go into slot d if it is 2003 to 07 so slot d is what we need to put this one in and slot d as you can see is right over here i don't know how clear you can see that but it, it says d e and f so we're going to insert this into slot d so we just have to make sure we're putting this in the right one slot d and it actually goes this way so bam slot d and boom it's already into place now all that's left to do is hook this up and pop it in together cut this end and solder it up so let's get started on that now we need to strip each wire back Now that they are all perfectly stripped we are going to get them set for our solder gotta grab heat shrink because this is going to provide the ultimate protection after it's soldered Alrighty guys, so here is what we did. Now the solder iron didn't work. I don't know if it was uh, the user error or if it was just the solder iron wasn't working. So we'll just go with it wasn't working. But um, what I decided to do instead was get a bunch of crimp connect. I crimped the wires. What I'm gonna do is electrical tape it and then put a piece of heat shrink like I did over these, shrink it down and it should be a permanent fix for, well, as of right now. Um, then we'll just hook it up and see if it works. So let's get started with that. Okay. There we go. Now it's time to clean up this mess. Alrighty guys, so now that everything in here is completed with the Takancha Voyager uh, electronic brake control whatever this is called um, there's a few things to do in the cab so this 
actually hooks up to somewhere under the dash. I'm going to show you exactly where that is. You have to remove a certain cover and you can get access to that to put this in. Also, we're going to have to find a spot to um, drill our like holder so this can hold in properly somewhere. And uh, we'll figure all that out as we go because I haven't done one of this before. So this is my first time and it'll be all first time as well. So let's find the spot that this has to hook into, hook this in. We'll figure out this part later. And then there is also something that we have to do in the engine bay as well. So we will get that done as well. So let's get started on to where to plug this in. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right over here near your brake pedal, let that zoom in right there, there is a black box here. So what you want to do is unscrew this little part here. It just unscrews with your hand. So we'll take this off. It's really like a fuse box cover. Once that comes off, just put it to the side and you can pop this out. So a pop clip on the side. It comes right off and we have access to our panel. Now, if you look, mosquitoes everywhere guys. If you look here, it tells you exactly where to put stuff. So right here, the second one is gonna be the trailer connection and that's where we're gonna go into. So it's gonna be the second one up here. I don't know how well you can see that. It's not focusing. So it's gonna be that second one. It's gonna be that second one right over there. That's what we're going to plug this into. Alright, there it is. So that is plugged in. What we can do is put this cover back on. And then we just screw this back on. Alrighty guys, so there you go. It's all plugged in and it's all plugged up. So now the last thing we need to do is go into the engine bay. Well, second to last thing we need to do is go into the engine bay, set everything up. I think we need a 40 amp fuse um, to put into our fuse box. So let's take a look at it and see what we can find. And then this should turn on. After that, we can do the final adjustments and hook it up somewhere, maybe here or here, or wherever it's supposed to go. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so if you guys ever see me drinking this, it's actually green tea. It's nothing crazy, um, weird. It's just green tea. It's just water and a Lipton tea bag that I really enjoy these things. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, so don't think I'm trying to sell you something. Uh, this is something I really enjoy and love. Keeps me really cool. Um, I try not to drink things with sugar. I'm not into sugar. But if you guys are interested or you want to try it, I'll leave the link in the description below for you all to pick up some matcha green tea. Or you could pick it up at your local store. And uh, it tastes really good. Really refreshing. What we want to do guys is remove this bar out of our way to access our fuse box completely. Pull this out the way. Now we can access our fuse box. Pop this off. There we go. So what we're actually looking at here is to see that these two red um, battery lines are connected, which mine are, some trucks aren't. Let me just give you an in-depth look. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. So right here, this red one is connected, and you want to make sure this other red one is connected. Now on some trucks, they are not connected. They're actually disconnected, so you have to connect them yourselves, which isn't hard. Just take this 10 millimeter bolt or whatever it is, um, and move the wire onto it and hook them up and the 40 amp fuse I believe goes into this slot here so you got to remove this battery um, holder tab and just put in a 40 amp fuse right there and everything should work alrighty guys so moment of truth is we are going to start the vehicle and hopefully this should turn on now I did open the fuse box um, I did not see a location where to put that fuse some videos put it where the little stud battery terminal thing is and um, that's like a, a cap that goes on that um, when I read the fuse box it says nothing about trailers so I ended up swapping a 40 amp fuse over there so let's see if this turns on um, 
All we can do is just turn it on and see if it works. Okay, vehicle's on. There is no light turning on. I don't think this works. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And this is the beauty of the automotive excellence, guys. Sometimes you have no idea what's going on. Sometimes you don't even know. I've never done one of these before, so this is my first time, and I thought I'd, you know, put this journey with y'all. Um, I did watch a few videos on how to do it. I think I definitely hooked it up right. Um, I just color-coded the wires to the wires. Maybe I, I put the wrong wire to something else. I'm not sure. I just assumed... Red will go to red, black will go to black, blue will go to blue, and white will go to white. Maybe not? No, I think, I think they're hooked up, right? Why doesn't this want to work? Um... Guys, I don't know what to say. It, it doesn't work. It's not turning on. I definitely think I did something wrong or it could be a faulty product. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to leave it to you all in the comment section to try to help me out if you all can see where I went wrong with this. Um, I definitely hooked up all the wires. It's plugged into the right spot that it should be. Um, but there's supposed to be a green light on this. And I'm supposed to be able to adjust it for to go orange for more aggressive or red for super aggressive, something like that. Um, it's not doing anything at all. It is just dead. So I think I'm going to wait for the comment section to give me a hand on this. And uh, if no one can help me figure this out, then I'm just going to take it into the shop, which this is the first time that I think I can't figure this out. Um... I mean, I'll play around with it before I definitely go into the shop. And if I find anything, I'll definitely make an update video to this. But, uh, wow, this is... This sucks. Um, I was hoping it would have been another great successful video. But, after all, this is life. Not everything is always going to be a success. It's a learning experience. And, uh, definitely after, if I fix this or figure it out, it'll definitely give me experience on how to do another one. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode sorry it didn't work out the way i expected it to um but you live you learn and you gain experience that's all i can say so with that being said guys peace out let me know if you can help me out in the comment section below i will greatly appreciate it if you guys want a, one of these rickety dudes in your truck to pull trailers i'll leave it in the in the description below maybe y'all will have better luck than i do right now but um I will see you all next time. I'm going to try to figure this out off camera. And if I do, then great. If not, I'll take it into a, a, someone to just put it in. I think they were charging me 100 bucks to do this, which isn't that bad of a deal. But uh, I definitely wanted to make this video for you all. So let's see if we can figure it out. All right. So I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.